it's now time for your national days of the week. Starting with today, the 30th of June, it is National Asteroid Day. But it's also National Meteor Day. Both of them falling on the 1st of July. If you've been studying your near-Earth objects of, of late, we've had a couple of close calls. Had a couple of big old space rocks out there getting a little too friendly with the neighborhood. And then NASA decided to run a little simulation to find out what would happen if one of those big rocks decided to come crashing on in. I got news for you, folks. It ain't good. It's bad, okay? And we don't have the ability to deflect a large asteroid. And we don't have the ability to predict when uh, large meteors are going to hit. You want to have some fun, go back to 2013 when, the, when a large meteorite flew through the skies of Russia and turned the night into day before destroying like a billion trees Pretty, and blasted out windows everywhere. It's the 30th of June. <laughs> it's National Asteroid and Meteor Awareness Day. Moving on. The uh, 1st of July. Wow, there was a whole bunch of stuff on the 1st of July. The one I chose for you, and there's a, and they choose the 1st of the month to list all of the weeks and all of the, the things that make up this month. But we go with days, national days of the week. The 1st of July, National Chicken Wing Day. It is a Monday. Korean chicken place is right down the street. They make some good Korean chicken wings. I might have to might have to change up my schedule a little bit. Might have to enjoy some Korean chicken wings. I like me some Korean chicken wings. Especially when I don't have to make them. On the second is uh, your national excuse day. The excuse being I forgot. I'm not kidding. It's national I forgot day. On a Tuesday, go figure. The second of July. I forgot day. National. I don't know who comes up with these. On the 3rd is National Air Condition Appreciation Day, or as I call it, every day. <laughs> I come from a time when air conditioning was not the standard. I do remember life before air conditioning. It sucked. Enjoy it while you got it. Until the giant asteroids come. On the 4th, Yes, of course, it's Independence Day, but it's also, also National Indivisible Day. Hola, guapa. She's gone. She's taking him out. I see you doing hand signals. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 4th of July, not only is it Independence Day, it's Indivisible Day. Yes, Indivisible. Right, whatever. It's also... Because why not? It's also National Invisible Day. Hmm. Think about that for a second. I, I could. I could. Uh, I could. Just, uh, wait. Uh, I'm going to make myself invisible. Uh, <laughs> You get a little bit of the logo and you get my head, but for the most part, I'm kind of, I'm kind of invisible. That's what you get. And so that's National Invisible, Indivisible, and Independence Day, all of that on the 4th. On the 5th, there's no better way to celebrate your post-Independence Day celebrations than in a bikini. It's National Bikini Day. I'm uh, taking that day off. Maybe I can convince a certain someone to put a bikini on. Make my day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, finishing off your week, we uh, go back to where we started. Next Sunday, National Fried Chicken Day. Now, if you don't understand how delicious Korean chicken is, uh, then you, you, you and, and if you don't have the opportunity to have some fried Korean chicken near you, eh, too bad, so sad. But, uh, what's the one... What's your favorite chicken place? 
I'm curious to know. It, 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 it's got to be churches. Yes. If, uh, if you, if there should be some danger in getting quality fried chicken. And I've never seen a churches that didn't have a little danger element involved. Those have been your national days of the week.